Good morning. I wanted to just run through how I make, I'm make. i making very basic rings, um, these ones. I said it was on a tube. Uh, this tube just happens to be the size that will go on my finger, but I have got quite large fingers. And in fact, that is even quite big for me, but I could always squidge it slightly before it um, goes hard, which I think would be quite an advantage with rings, because very often rings around and fingers really aren't actually round. They need a little bit of squidge at the side to be comfortable. Um, also, um, let's assume, I'll make the rings first, show you how I do it. I've just got a few on here. So this is just a tube that had flax thread on, which I've wrapped a bit of cling film around, which means that when they're dry, they just come off really easily, like that. In fact, I did squidge that one, so I could have done with an extra piece on. So what I do is I put some just water around there. I've cut up pieces of mod rock and I would wrap it around where I've dampened it slightly and then just push it round with water. Now what I've done is um, going to use two pieces like that to give me the thickness that I want like that and then leave them to go hard what I do here is I just kind of keep on pushing the water in and then if I want it not to be quite so wide or to have a little bit of a flange I think that's the word flange on the edge I can do that and then maybe just smooth it down slightly just like so. So that will do the rings. These are just the same only a bit bigger so we'll just do one on, on a yoghurt pot. I've, um, I've got a, a plastic one here which is quite good so I would kind of cut off about that much. So, and again cut the strips. This one I can fold in half. So what I do with this is I actually just dip it into the water like that so it's completely soggy, gently, and then wrap it lay it around. That's a little bit. See that fell on top of itself but seriously it doesn't matter because I can just push all those bits in to kind of meet it. And this again I can put it round like that laying it on laying it on top like so and wet it profusely, abundantly, make it a bit soggy and then what I'm going to do is just turn that one around I imagine. Let's just make a few cuts so it turns around a lot more easily. I hadn't tried that I just thought it would work but it won't. So turning it round like so. I was just trying to be a bit less precise because I think being less precise is very good. Wet it all. There's always a time for precision but there's often a time for lack of precision. Okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to push it all together like that. Remembering that the further I go up the yoghurt pot, the wider will be the bracelet bangle. So this is going to be a little less precise than the other ones. So then I'm going to squidge it with my fingers like that. Dum 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 dum. Dum dum as I say. <laughs> Why do we say silly things like dum 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 when we're doing something? 
I don't know. I think it's a female trade, isn't it? I don't know many men that do that. There. Voila. And what I could do whilst I'm at this point is, say, take a paintbrush and just press in don't know why I'm doing this but no doubt it will add a decorative element later on so all my squidging is for naught because now I'm squashing there but it worked perfectly and I can always just push in in the center bits maybe here and there Okie dokie, leave it to dry. Um, the rings, what I was going to do with the ring was take a little piece of um, squidgy papier-mâché clay and roll it till it's... like that. Wet the end and stick it on. Squidge it down. Don't, you don't have to wet the end. don't know why I did that really. Because it probably works a lot better without squidging the end. What I want to do is just create a sort of a roughness around there. Which I have done. Probably didn't need to wet it. Might need to wet my finger now. It's always good to have a piece of glass or ceramic tile nearby that you can dampen your fingers on. So you don't need wet fingers, but you do need occasionally damp acts as a, a resist. And what I wanted to do was put it on my finger and then squeeze the sides a bit so that when it becomes a ring, it's got other bits there. And I was thinking of putting something on the top that might kind of go along with it, this is painted but you know the necklace it's got a little sort of flangey bit on top I could maybe just squeeze something like that and stick it on the top so it's a kind of image form of a ring Daisy. <laughs> so then it would be voila, like that. And on the top, it would be quite nice to press something in. Oh, I have a visitor. So I'll just press a fur cone in. I think that isn't too bad. I'm off for a cup of coffee. See you when I get back.